applaud in the modern Democratic Party. Everything Donald Trump says is hate speech, even the things the left once agreed with. Yes, Trump has changed the Republican Party. A lot has been written about that. But not nearly as much as his administration has changed Democrats. If you just return from a year abroad, prepare yourself. You will not recognize the new Democratic Party. Last night, Democratic members refused to stand or clap when Trump praised the national anthem, when he praised military veterans, when he pointed out new low black unemployment numbers. Some refused to stand for Steve Scalise, the Louisiana congressman who was nearly murdered last year by a Bernie Sanders supporter. So what is going on here? Well, obviously, they're giving Trump the finger. Bad manners are now a form of resistance. But what if it's more than that? What if Democrats actually don't like those things anymore? What if praising our veterans or our flag really does enrage the modern left? Well, in a tweet during the speech, MSNBC host Joy Reid put it this way, quote, church, family, police, military, the national anthem, Trump trying to call on all the tropes of 1950s era nationalism. The goal of this speech appears to be to force the normalization of Trump on the terms of the bygone era. Now think about that for a minute. Church, family, police, military, and love of country are now merely, quote, tropes from a bygone era? Most Americans consider those things the pillars of our civilization. And if you don't agree with that, imagine a society without those things. What would it look like? How long could it last? Would you want to live there? Joy Reid would. So would many of her co-anchors over at MSNBC and her Harvard classmates, and apparently most of the Democratic caucus on Capitol Hill. Church, family, police, military, those words disgust them. This isn't a political resistance. It's not about Donald Trump. It's nihilism, the mindless impulse to tear down what you did not build. It's rage at your father, translated into political terms, a politics that elevates all that is ugly and decadent and seeks to undermine the decent and the beautiful and all that came before. This isn't a philosophy. It's a sickness. And once you catch it, you're apt to say things like this. He gives a speech tonight in which he makes it sound like the biggest issue in the United States, uh, the biggest threat is MS-13, a gang nobody that doesn't watch Fox News has ever heard of. For this president to conflate the dreamers with gang members, he was demonizing our That's immigrants true. here, and I was offended. So MS-13 is merely something that Fox News created to demonize immigrants. Presumably those would be the very same immigrants that gang routinely kills because they only kill immigrants. We don't want to think the left really believes any of this, but we're starting to suspect they really do. 